सहयोग रहेगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद श्री कुमार केतकर वेल एट द आउटसेट I welcome this amendment bill, but let us not forget. There is a tendency these days to forget the legacy of such very important acts. This act, which is being amended now, was made in 1972, and that year is important because that very year, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi addressed a conference in Stockholm, the Earth Conference. in 1972 and led by her personal initiative to create this act not only project tiger but she was concerned about all other animals from crocodiles to lions and every single animal in jungles or in the sea including the fish now that legacy was necessary to be remembered when we amend this because she was particular in seeing that the jungles are not killed jungles are not devastated jungles are not disturbed devastated at present when we are talking here about this act nicobar is being completely ruined nicobar jungles are being removed and nicobar jungles are being removed for the benefit of some corporates so essentially the wildlife is actually is attacked not by any humans as such but the corporates and sometimes by celebrity bollywood types it is necessary not abhi rakesh ji ne kaha ki sakht kanun hona chahiye kanun sirf sakht nahi hona chahiye uska implementation bhi sakht hona chahiye aur uska implementation sakht nahi ho raha hai iske liye corporates are actually using their money power or their muscle power or their contacts in bureaucracy and in the government to destroy jungles and when jungles are gone the wildlife was, wildlife is gone another thing that is necessary to be noticed is that wildlife jungles and human habitats are closely linked and closely related one without the other is not possible we talk about climate change but while talking about climate change we do not we generally do not talk about wildlife and birds and other migration of birds and things like that climate change is directly concerned with protection of wildlife protection of birds creating environment for them and while we talk about environment we must also talk about the creation of environment for them to survive and grow when project tiger was announced there was considerable discussion about it and thankfully there was lot of support but today this issue has come because of the real estate sharks and corporates are devastating jungles and creating problems for the wildlife i think it is necessary also to remember that the from jim corbett to salim ali so many people have written about the jungles in india in fact these jungles this forest life this flora and fauna was the main thing that attracted europeans not only the masalas not only the spices in south india but also this for flora and fauna attracted the europeans so we are actually ruining the flora and fauna and i don't think we particularly care about it i don't see any discussion for instance we talk about biodiversity but not a single university has any syllabus and discussion and studies or research projects done on biodiversity i think only one university has just started a biodiversity subject but otherwise most universities ignore biodiversity subject completely as a result the youth or the students or the academics generally do not have any knowledge of the necessity of wildlife connected with climate change climate change is only more talked about and not actually implemented and that implementation will begin from the education sector university sector school sector where the wildlife needs to be actually promoted wildlife cannot be promoted merely by creating acts another point that i must uh, mention here is the number of species that are declining in india has crossed 30000 globally some 1 lakh species are actually gone forever and that will happen that protection of those species will happen only if the government is serious and strict about implementing this i'll take a final point only one more minute and uh, the point is former prime minister had said 
uh, she referred to Masuri when she had gone there and uh, said that jungles are being destroyed for the construction. Just now, Praful Patelji talked about uh, development and ecology together, and development is possible even without destroying ecological balance. But I don't think that is the approach of the present government. Ecology is sacrificed for the sake of, or in the name of development, in the name of highways, in the name of freeways, and in the name of new projects. It is not enough to protect Adivasis. It is not enough to protect Adivasis and jungles together. It is necessary to protect Adivasis and jungles and wildlife together because they live together and they don't live separately. Unfortunately, what is discussed today is separating Adivasis from the wildlife and from wildlife from the human habitats. I think it is necessary to take a comprehensive and total view of the thing of Wildlife Act. And therefore, not only having an act is important, but having implementation is perhaps even more important. Thank you. Su Shri Indu Bala Goswami. Dhanyavad, sir.